Hey everyone. Oh, I'm not in focus, am I? Today I am filming a tag. I think I'm making it up. I may not be. I googled it and I YouTubed it and I could not find anything under the keywords I was searching for so hopefully I'm the first one to do it and I'm not like ripping someone off but we'll soon find out I'm sure. So basically I went on to makeup.co.nz and purchased a whole lot of my old favourite products. I'm going to do a full face with old favourites and see if they're still good. I have the worst ulcers today from my braces, they're so sore. This tray is just giving me grief. So here's a sneak peek of some of those products. All done. <laughs> Filmed a 2012 Shenix O look with all my old favorite products, or some of them, the ones I could get my hand on. Hand on, hands on. So yeah, this video hopefully will be up by the time you watch this. I don't know, we'll see. So I just finished filming a Korean makeup haul as well. By the way, today is Valentine's Day, so hopefully me and Hamish can find somewhere to go for dinner tonight because we didn't book anywhere early, so fingers crossed. Um, and now it is lunchtime. I'm actually just gonna be really lazy and eat this for, the, for dinner, for lunch. Pizza bread. <laughs> Hamish got this, he's had some too, so I'm just gonna have some of those because I'm not that hungry and I can't be bothered cooking. I haven't had breakfast or anything, I haven't been to the gym, I haven't done anything today apart from film. And then, yeah, gonna edit this afternoon and then go to the hospital later this afternoon, come back and get changed and go out for dinner hopefully somewhere. Me and Hamish decided we weren't doing gifts this year because we just have everything we need anyway, so we just are going to enjoy each other's company and go out for dinner and, you know, maybe watch a movie or something later. We'll see what happens. Hamish got me some toothbrushes too because my teeth hurt so bad right now that I can't use my electric toothbrush. I have to use these because the electric toothbrush hurts. My teeth are like moving hardcore right now. I can feel the ones at the top at the back moving. So these are a lot more gentle for me just to use in the meantime. Usually passes after a couple of days. I have to say though, this is probably the worst I've had at this entire time, apart from at the very, very beginning so far. And also I have giveaways running. Do you want to focus on me? Thank you. I have giveaways running on my channel. Um, and people are asking what I think of Invisalign so far. So far, I love it. Look how... That one has gone in so far. This one needs to hurry up and get in there. But this one here is moving so far. And I think, so Thursday I've got my appointment. Today is Tuesday. Thursday I've got my next um, dentist appointment. And she's going to file down my teeth a little bit more. So I'll vlog for you probably. Um, and that'll give my teeth a little bit more room to move some more. But yeah, so far so good. I am loving love love loving them uh, that helped my face slim down a lot because i can't grind so much but the last few nights i have actually been clenching really really badly so i said on twitter yesterday i was like oh my god like why am i having these messed up dreams basically like for the last week or so i've just been having these dreams every night apart from last night didn't have one last night yes but um i was having these dreams where either hamish would leave me and it was really nasty like it wasn't even like a nice break breakup he wouldn't even like tell me that he was leaving me he'd like go off with another girl and like get with her in front of me and i was like what are you doing and then he was like no i just don't like you anymore like just leave me alone i don't like you anymore and i was just like why not and it was really stressful and i just kept going to him i was like hey Mish, i promise like i love you so much don't leave me i don't even care like i don't even care that you've like hooked up with this chick like just take me back and he's just like i don't like you i hate you and it's like horrible and then he just leaves me like leaves me or my family members just die all the time in my dreams and it's really really shit and I was like why is this happening but then I was like oh well I've just been told that my family member in hospital has most likely under a year to live and that's probably why it's probably just like stress dreams about losing my family member I'm trying not to like tear up right now but I'm really really scared <laughs> I'm just trying to take my mind off it. Spend as much time with her as I can. She should hopefully be going home soon because she doesn't want to do chemotherapy or anything. Basically what's happened is they think she has pancreatic cancer and it's just been this huge roller coaster ride. They were like, we've never seen anything like this before. We've never dealt with an experience like this before. Usually it's quite textbook, but this was not textbook. It was really complicated and they're really sorry, but they couldn't find it at the beginning and everything. Chemotherapy is it's like a very slim chance she can even have chemotherapy because they can't actually take samples of the cancer it's so complicated um and usually well not usually but sometimes the people doing the chemotherapy can demand a sample before going ahead with chemotherapy so if that happened she wouldn't be able to get it 
but regardless she does not want chemotherapy and I support that decision 100% because it may not do anything or it may give her an extra couple months and she's just been sick for so long since my birthday that it's just kind of like well let's just live this last year or so and be happy and comfortable and you know do lots of fun stuff and make the most of it you know what I mean so that's the decision that she made so hopefully she will be home soon and that's my little update anyways yeah I'm doing um, some giveaways on Twitter, Twitter here, and um, Instagram. So check out my Instagram and my Twitter if you want to enter my little giveaways. They're open for two weeks. And as far as my vlogs, obviously I love doing vlogs. That's why I'm doing one right now. Um, and I'm going to try and start doing one or two a week just to start. Because I'm just starting to get back into three beauty videos a week. And just between, um, you know, life with my sick family member and just feeling like shit all the time <laughs> and unmotivated um yeah I just don't want to push myself into doing like five or six vlogs a week at the moment or I don't know if I'll ever go back to daily vlogs but my goal was to get into like three or four a week but I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon just because a lot of my spare time is going into my family at the moment which I'm sure you guys understand and also my main channel so like, I've been working every single day, apart from the week. No, actually, I did work on Sunday quite a bit. But I've worked, you know, every day apart from Saturday, pretty much. And edited my little heart out. But yeah, it's just mostly been on my main channel. Especially because I have a trip to Raro coming up. And then I'm off to LA. And then I'm up... Oh, and then I'm off to Malaysia very soon. So, so I'm trying to get some main channel videos ready as well for that. For while I'm away. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up three a week. While I'm away, I'm trying my best, obviously, like I've been editing and filming at my butt off. But worst case scenario, I'm just going to drop back to two a week while I'm away again. Because that seemed to work really well and you guys seem to understand. I feel lazy, which is weird because I'm still putting in all of this work. I guess just because for so long I've done three videos a week or more. Um, and then like I was doing daily vlogs, so dropping back to this just feels really lazy. But... It's not like, I need to like tell myself it's not lazy, it's just circumstances are different at the moment and it's not going to be forever. I'm just venting at the camera right now. Thank you for all the support, by the way. Yes, my foundation's way too dark for my chest. Kind of. Anyway, moving along. I'm going to eat my pizza bread now. Hashtag healthy. I love carbs so much. I love bread so much. So I just got home from the hospital. Now I'm just going to do a little bit more editing, I guess, until 6.30. Well, probably for like half an hour and then head to dinner. We're just going to go to Cafe Cuba for dinner tonight. Nowhere too flash, just casual, going to get a salad or something. Although they do have this like gnocchi there. I, saw, I went with my mum the other night and I got the corn fritter and salad, which is like my go-to. It's so good. Um, but then gnocchi, I don't know. I'll see what I feel like later. I've just been editing all day, doing thumbnails. <sighs> this one took me so long to do. I did that one and then I had to edit that one again. I feel like this is ugly because it's just so white, but I didn't take any other photos, so I just have to put up with it. Hey. What did you do? Did you chew up your dad's shoelaces? <laughs> He's like, never. You never that? Hamish made it look all ugly. What is it? Croquette or oh, lamb with mint sauce and then mine is humra. I get three. <laughs> I went for the gnocchi. What's that? Uh, baked wellington. Oh, you did get it. I've never tried it before, so this should be that one. It was kind of good. That mashed potato looks amazing. Yes, it's always good. Yeah, it is. Got way too full after the starter. Potato. I'm gonna go hop in bed. Me and Hamish are going to watch The Office. And I've got heaps of mail, so I'm just gonna show you guys all of that tomorrow. I'll continue my vlog tomorrow. <laughs>